Hello and welcome to Jira Lab. In this episode, I wanted to show you another example of what you can achieve in terms of Jira security or Jira issue security uh, without using any external uh, plugins. Sometimes uh, when running a project, you want to make sure that your requirement that you are currently working on is not changed during the life cycle uh, of your project. I'll show you today a solution how to achieve that uh, security uh, and make sure that nothing is changed uh, when you have already started working on a requirement. Let's begin. On this screen, you can see an issue uh, and the issue type is requirement. As long as the issue is in the to-do state, and this is a simple workflow, so to, to do in progress and done, I can edit uh, and modify the requirement uh, whichever way I want. However, as project manager, I want to make sure that after somebody has started working on this requirement and this somebody re is required to mark this requirement as in progress. So I mean, it is being worked on, it is being delivered. We don't want to uh, have requirements being changed during the life cycle of this project. So uh, let's say that this requirement uh, this requirement is uh, finished and I also added some uh, document or linked some document to it. Uh, maybe there was some uh, communication around that document and uh, I own this requirement, for example. So I'll, s I'll sign it to uh, myself and uh, the use case is uh, all right, this is finished. Let's uh, make this requirement uh, or transition this requirement to in progress. Okay, so it is in progress. And what happens now? Now I'm in a role of project member. And uh, when I refresh the screen, as you can see, the only thing I can do right now is to add some comments to this requirement uh, comment. And that's it. So I used these properties which I showed you in uh, another video. I used the uh, properties uh, on this uh, on this status. Okay, so uh, but sometimes there is a requirement or there is a need to be able to change that requirement, and we want to make it uh, possible, but not to everyone. So let's see in which role I am now. And now I'm in a role. So I'm not in a role of project manager. Another person is in that role and only she will be able to do that, to, uh, to, make, this, uh, to make these changes. So let's switch to her user now. Okay, so now we are uh, logged in as uh, Betty Collins. And she has an additional button, modify issue, and only she is uh, able to transition the, uh, the requirement issue back to the to-do uh, state. So as you can see, this gives her a control what is going on with this specific requirement. Whereas me as project member, I'm not able to do uh, any transitions uh, now or any transitions to, uh, to go backwards or modify the issue. So she also is not uh, able to change, uh, to change anything. So the security also uh, applies to her. So if she wanted to change, for example, anyone here, as you can see, nothing changes. All right. But uh, let's say that this requirement uh, should not happen during the uh, version uh, three qu uh, third quarter of 2019. We want to move it forward. 
so only she will be able to modify the field. So let's move it forward to version 1Q220. Okay, so although technically uh, it is not possible to edit this issue uh, with a special workflow, uh, let's say trick, uh, it is possible. Okay, so let's see how it's uh, been done. I go to workflows and I'm looking for this specific workflow that manages uh, uh, requirement issue type. And as you can see, I'll go to the edit mode. Okay, I'll, I'm in a med edit mode. As you can see, I edit here a special transition from in progress to in progress. And there's a condition edit that only people in role project manager can execute this transition. So in this way, I'm sure that only people with this specific role will, uh, will have this uh, transition button visible on their screen. So that's number one. And number two, I edit a transition screen. So using this screen, which has all the fields uh, on it, you can simply put on that screen any field that you want to have control uh, on. So here on this screen I uh, have uh, added uh, version field and in this way only project manager, so our Betty Collins, she will be able to modify the version and modify anything, anything else. Uh, all right, and let's have a look what properties we've got here. So uh, we've got only uh, ops bar sequence, the one that I showed you once. All right. So having this functionality, I have no control over this issue. I cannot move forward, I cannot move back. So I can only read this issue and uh, make comments as project member. And Betty, as project manager, she can control what happens to that uh, to that issue and although she's also influenced by this lack of um, edit uh, editing capability uh, using this transition she can change uh, what she wants okay so i hope you found this example very practical and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode bye bye